Hi, I'm Kim Gifford, and I'm a pediatrician at Children's Hospital at Dartmouth-Hitchcock. Many people are feeling worried about COVID-19 and are not sure what to do. This video will help you to learn more about ways to protect yourself. To make it simple, we'll just talk about germs in general. First, you should know that most germs don't go through your skin. To make people sick, the germs have to get into the body, usually through the mouth, nose, or eyes. The good news is that there are so many ways that we can keep the germs out of our bodies. Sometimes when people hear about all the different ways to protect themselves, they worry that they will get sick if they can't do all of them perfectly every time. The good news is that they all work together. So I like to think of these ways of keeping us safe as layers of protection. If we don't have one layer of protection, then the other ones are more important. Like if it's raining outside and you don't have an umbrella, a raincoat will help to keep you dry. We'll talk about each layer of protection and then see how they all work together. First, being in an area where fewer people are sick means that there aren't as many germs around. In the upper valley, there aren't as many sick people as there are in some other places in our country. Staying at home when possible and away from other people who are sick also helps us to keep away from germs. If someone might be sick, they should stay home so they don't bring their germs to school or work. Taking temperatures and asking questions about being sick helps schools know who might be sick and should stay home. Another layer of protection is being in a bubble with a small number of people. If you are only around a few people, there's less of a chance that one of them will be sick. The next layer of protection is physical distancing. That means trying to have some space between you and other people. I think of this like a campfire. If you don't want to get burned, you should not stand inside the fire pit. If you take one step back, you're less likely to get burned. If you take two steps back, even less likely. The further you are away from the fire, the safer you are. That's true for germs too. If you stand right in front of someone's mouth, you might get their germs. If you stay far away, you probably won't. Some people say to stay back three feet, and others say to stay back six feet, which can be confusing. There is no magic that happens at exactly three or six feet. The idea is to try to stay back as much as you can. When you can't stay back, a mask can help. Masks are the next layer of protection. They work by catching the germs as they come out of someone's nose or mouth. If you need to fix your mask, wash your hands first. Change your mask if it gets wet or dirty, and wash reusable masks regularly, like you do with your underwear. A mask is most important when you are close to other people. When you are further away, the germs can't get to you even without a mask. The next layer of protection are ways that we can get rid of germs. When germs are in the air, the wind can carry them away. When you are inside, fans take out the air and germs from the room and bring in fresh air. The other way to get rid of germs is to kill them by cleaning. That's why you should wash your hands often. If you accidentally touch germs, you can wash them away with soap or hand sanitizer so you don't let them into your mouth, nose, or eyes. That's also why you should try not to touch your face. The most important places to clean are smooth surfaces that are touched often, like tables, doorknobs, and light switches. The sunshine also helps to kill germs, which is another great reason to be outside. When people work in a hospital taking care of sick people, they need more layers of protection. Just like a firefighter needs more protection to go into a burning building. But for most of us, we don't need to wear a special suit to protect ourselves from germs. We can just think about the layers of protection that are most important for us where we are. For young kids who may have trouble wearing masks or physical distancing, then bubbles are most important. For older kids who are wearing masks and need to eat or take a mask break, physical distancing can help. Washing your hands often can get rid of germs you may have touched so they don't get into your eyes, nose, or mouth. Let's review the layers. First, being in an area with less germs like ours. Stay home when you are sick. Try to limit the number of different people you are with. When you are around people, stay back. If you have to be close, wear a mask. Go outdoors when possible. Wash your hands often and before you touch your face. 
we have so many great layers of protection to help keep us safe. If you can't have one layer, rather than worry about it, try to focus more on the other layers that you do have to help keep you safe. 